Chuck gentlemen, it is your boy OJ here, and today we're back on some Black Ops 3 Zombies. And today we're going to be playing a new custom Zombies map that was released on the Steam Workshop today, and it's called The Happy Home of Robloxia. So basically this is basically a, a map that's basically on the world of Roblox. It basically has the Roblox cost normal home with the um, sword a tournament match like map as you know by the OGs. Before I get this video started make sure you guys to like comment and subscribe and turn on that post notification so you never miss another video from me. But anyway guys let's hop right into it. Alright boys we are right here and oh my god we gotta spawn in with the Roblox music. We got a uh, quick revive holy jesus we got the olympia and the m14 so we get the so we have the classic black ops one weapons we get to start up with the classic 1911 and i missed that knife don't mind me because i'm that garbage we got quick all right let's just drink a uh, quick revive oh my god we got the roblox uh drinking can noise when you drink the Bloxy Cola. Let's grab the M14. Oh, we got the classic model, not the, the one in Black Ops 3. It's completely different. And we got we got a computer right here. Classic Roblox computer. And we got the uh, giant Roblox sign at the bottom right corner. Which is very interesting. And we got, oh, also we got the spawn points. Like every time we spawn, we just spawn randomly. Just like in Roblox. Oh my god. And I saw the trailer for this map. It's basically as the class. It, the trailer was made by Don by the uh, Windows Movie Maker. The guy just used it. And oh my god. So we got right here. We got the outside. We got a nice little slide. We We can't slide up it, unfortunately. We got a swing saw. Oh my god, we can stand on it. It's revolutionary, boys. Alright, we got double tap. What we but we don't have power on. We got the PM63. <sighs> Disgusting. And oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I'm just taking breathing in the fresh air. I forgot about the zombies. Oh my god. We got a castle right here. We got uh, a house. We got a sign that said free bricks and a bridge. Oh my god, this map. Has everything like the classic home on Roboxia or one of these like super like free admin games that you know feature this house and all that jazz. And we got a Bowie knife, we got a speed cola. I believe we only got the four class perks and we got these things, just standard bricks, a nice bridge that we can cross run across. And we got uh, we got we got the stake out and we got the mystery box. We got a flag for some reason. Wait. Oh, then we got the debris right here. So, yeah, but I'm not seeing power anywhere. I don't know if I have to like open up here. Oh, right here. And we got the AK 74 u here. All right, good to know. I wonder how do you get to that other map? Oh my god, the zombies are spawning in a nice line. And there's. Oh my god, I saw it. I saw it right there. There it is. There's the skybox. So it's right there. We got some trees and a roof to it. I believe you can go up there. I'm not sure if you can. I think you can. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure entirely. Let's see what's under here. Nothing. Alright, let's go spin the mystery box because this weapon it is very weak. Oh, what was that? Was that the- oh my god, that's the fucking Ripper. Oh, and we got the freaking China Lake. Rip boys. We got the disgusting. Yuck. Disgusting China Lake. Get that off my screen. Let's go. The AK-74 for you. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Oh, and- oh my god. Right I didn't realize back here there was like a debris. And we got the M16A1 here. What does it lead to? Oh. There we go, we got the power boys. Let's go. We got the power switch. Oh my god. I didn't realize it was right there. But we got the power boys. Alright, let's grab double tap. 
Check that nice animation. And there we go. We got double tap. Two guys is um vacation going. The summer holidays. And I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I didn't really what was wrong with the knife? Oh my god. What the heck? I was just having a good conversation and then I died. Alright, I need to grab quickly quick revive before I die. Yes. So as I was saying, I hope you guys are you guys enjoying your uh, summer holidays so far? I know I have. I'm just right. I've recently started um, going to play some airsoft, and oh my god, I'm having so much fun with it. And I actually got my own airsoft gear. I have the I have my two guns. I have. I actually have the, I have an MP5 SD, which is like a variant of the MP5, but with an integratable barrel suppressor. And I got the, and I got the Glock. I got the actual, like the, one of the best Glocks in air, uh, in air stuff in general. And what is this? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. I, I just spawned right in the roof. Okay. Okay then. What's in there? Oh, we just got teleported and here we are we got oh we got pack a punch and we got oh we got we got jug oh yes yes we got jug boys and here we are we're in the sword sword act tournaments the iconic i wish you could interact go around some parts of it but why it's so linear come on i want to jump right there i want to do some hardcore why did you restrict me, game? I'm not sure. Why did that made it like this? Alright, I'm gonna grab the joke. So I don't die. Let's we'll see what happens. Oh, are you kidding me, my... Oh. So if I just fall off of it, then I, I teleport back. So you cannot go past through it. Oh my god, that's just... I mean, I mean you should, cause it adds immersion. But why? But I get it. Why? It just takes forever to build. All right, all right where are? All right, so now I have enough to uh, pack a punch. So before I go, I'm just gonna spin the mystery box. See if I can get the. Oh, we got the thunder gun. The scorpion boys. All right, let's go pack boys. We we we'll go in there. All right, let's go. Oh my god, I missed. I wonder if you can go here. No, you can't. Wait, what's that element? Oh, that's from zombie. All right, boys, let's go and pack a punch. Get me in here. All right, let's go. Pack. And then, then, up. And now, we're actually pack a punch in this. We'll become, we'll make the gun into the, the skull crusher. Oh, you can repack it. What? No underbar attachment. Oh, grip. So we got a freaking underbarrel under barrel that we cannot use. That's such a big rip. But wait, we can, well, we can repack it. And we got the uh, Doris and Draka camels. This is very nice. Alright, let's repack it. Because we can. Next game, I guess. We got Blast Furnace. I keep that. Yeah, we got the uh, Droids and Draka uh, camels. Pack camels. Wow. Alright, YOLO! And we're back. Voila! We are back. But I said that's a very interesting map. Do I want to replay it from time to time? Maybe. I guess. Just for fun. I said that, and nah. Uh, over the other maps. Yeah, it's a very fun, interesting custom zombies map. It's very fun to try out. You guys should really give it a shot. It's on it's on the Steam Workshop, so you can guys just get a copy of Black Ops 3 and then play it. We need to view, have some few gigabytes left over just to play it. But then you should be good enough. But yeah, it's just it's sad to see that, like... When I read the news, bro, what do you guys think about like what Activision's planning on doing for next year's uh, COD game? 
Because I said that, that they told us that possibly they're going to delay the next game. But then they said that a premium, next premium quality, next premium COD game will come out next year. Which in turn could mean that it could be the Triad could release, will be releasing the next summer game next year. Could be possible. Like, guys, like, like this is what I'm talking about with Call of Duty. Like, the Call of Duty, like, one year life cycle, which is, I mean, it used to, it used to work in terms of, like, we still got good games coming out right each year. But it's just, over time, it just slowly, um, didn't work out. Like, for the Activision, the one year life cycle just didn't work out for them. That's for two years, for like two years now. They had two, uh, two of their games screwed over by that stupid life cycle. Treyarch got screwed over and they had to make the game for last year, which you know how that went. And then Vanguard, holy Jesus. Why? Like, this is just... Activision needs to stop doing yearly releases because it just doesn't work for Call of Duty. It used to, but not anymore. It's time to move on. And let, the, and let our boys make games in peace. And give them two years to make a COD game. Instead of just that stupid one year life cycle that they have to push out. Which in turn, they can't even make the game good. And they have to, over time, add those features. Because Activision screw them over. That's how it is every single year. Oh my god, we get the minigun. Boys, we got a freaking minigun as a weapon in the box. Alright, let's see if we can pack this. Oh, we can. Oh, ooh, we can pack a punch this. I wonder how many ammo. Oh my god. We, we have 9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999